Hello everyone and welcome to another game I played on PTCGO Online. Uh, this time I'm going to be playing a Kling Clan Cobalion deck, uh, which is uh, one that I've been playtesting recently as I slowly get a hold of the cards necessary. So here I'm going to start out with a Cobalion EX in the active spot and a Kling Clan on the bench and I see a Durant. So it looks like my opponent will be playing everyone's favorite deck and they get to go first um, and bench another Durant, so they'll be able to devour for two. Uh, we see a giant cape go on, making it that much harder to knock out. It'll take me three turns with Cobalion. Uh, so I'm just going to devour for two, get rid of the, a switch and a Cobalion EX on my end. Um, so in this matchup, getting a Kling uh, Clan set up to sort of uh, block EX attackers isn't going to be helpful. Uh, so I catch her up one of the the bench Durant and attack it with Righteous Edge for 30. They're going to energy search of course and attach an, an uh, energy to the new active Durant and devour for two again unless they can get out another Durant. So devoured for two, got rid of a rare candy and an energy so I'm going to attach another energy and evolve my uh, clink into a clang and righteous edge for 30 again. So this is going to be slow going. If I can't get my clink clang powered up, or sorry, my um, cobalion powered up, and he um, max potions and gets another energy out onto it. Yeah, Junipers gets the third uh, Durant. Going to level ball maybe for a fourth one. But let's see. Uh, nope. So actually we see a Clink. So he's playing a Clink Clang uh, Durant. Um, which is honestly not going to help him any to play that. But he, it does help him to catch her and stall me. Uh, I don't have a switch in hand, so I can't get back to Cobalion. And evolving to Plasma Clang really does me no good, because Plasma Clang has a tree cost of uh, 3, and um, uh, Clang has a retreat cost of 1. So I'd rather keep it unevolved. But I'm going to Super Rod uh, 2 Cobalions and a Steel Energy, or Metal Energy, from a discard pie, and just pass. So my opponent level balls once again, this time for a Clang. Again, it's not going to help him because a Cobalion EX attack, a Steel Bullet, will bypass any effect if he actually manages to get it up and running. So he's going to attach a Rescue Scarf to another one of his benched Durants. Um, I now have both uh, Kling Clangs. I don't run the shift gear ones because I don't have it but I do have one of the other non-ability ones in this deck so I just pass because I don't have any way to get it out of the active so at this rate he might be able to deck me out but I check his deck and it's much lower than mine so at the very least uh, time is on my side if he cannot get another Durant out I'm guessing one of them is probably prized if not he would have placed it on the bench already so he's going to again devour and I still have no way of getting out of the active, and he just devoured two of my switches. Oh, actually, sorry, I did get out of the active. I used that switch. But he devoured uh, two of them, so that's really bad. Um, and I can Righteous Edge for 30 again. Um, but he switches um, to prevent me from knocking that one out. Um, but I can Steel Bullet, get rid of that Durant, but he has a Rescue Scarf on it, so it goes right back into his hand. And he can put up another Durant, also with the Rescue Scarf. So he's not going to be devouring for anything fewer than three for a while. And he puts down another Rescue Scarf on the Durant he just got back via Rescue Scarf. Ugh. So I still don't have really a really effective way of getting through this, but he isn't attacking so that's good and hopefully I can avoid the deck out that's why I'm keeping the N in hand but he catchers again and I don't have a switch 
in hand, and he ends me down to four. But I, I did get a, a Skyla, so maybe I could get a switch with that. I'm um, just checking again to make sure I, yes, I have three switch in the discard pile. And I'm debating whether or not to put down Cobalion, but I just I go for Skyla, go for the switch. I should have one more in my deck if it's not prized. And yep, I have it there. So I'll be able to take a, another prize, but this is my last switch, so if he manages to Pokemon Catcher, I'm going to be screwed. But I do get the Tool Scrapper, and I'm going to get rid of the Rescue Scarves, just to make it that much easier to deal uh, with the Durant Swarm. So I'm going to Steel Bullet, get rid of another Durant, take a third prize. Um, at this point, it's looking like the momentum has swung. I definitely think the match is going in my favor. Um, but maybe he can change it by catcher selling again. Um, so he put, promotes another Durant, this time the one with giant cape on it. I guess he's going to go all, all in on his devour strategy. And devour for two this turn. So he has 12 cards left. I have many more, so I'm not too worried about the deck out threat right now. He puts an Eevee Light on his bench Durant and attaches an energy and he's gonna Skyla for something for a Pokemon Center. So I'm not entirely sure why that is because I can one shot both Durants. It can only be for Plasma Clang if he decides to use it. So I'm gonna attach a uh, metal energy to bet the bench clean clang just in case I need to attack with it if he tries to stall me again. But I uh, steal bullet for the knockout on the active Durant, and he promotes his last Durant. Well, at least I hope it's his last Durant. And I take another prize. So he junipers. At this point, his deck is fairly thin. Uh, but he's going to attach an energy to Kling Clang and level ball. There's probably nothing left to get in his deck. Now he devours for one. Um, so I just steal bullet, there's no need to play anything to tempt him to catcher stall. And I'm going to get a catcher, but he has nothing on his bench uh, for my prizes. Uh, so at this point, uh, I can win this game in two shots, so I'm going to steal bullet if he does nothing. But now he, now he has enough energy to attach with Kling Clang, so to attack with, sorry. He manages to do 70 and hit the benched um, Kling Clang for 20, but I can steal bullet for the win. So once again, uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, make sure to comment, rate, or subscribe, and I'll be uploading more